Hey guys, let's talk about a square between Saturn and Chiron, okay? Usually, at such a connection between these two planets um, is a comic call for healing, you know, healing of both partners or healing of one partner, at least. <laughs> But because we know that a square represents challenges and red flags in a relationship, we know for sure that there will be problems towards um, finding each other's method, methods of comfort healing. Okay. Chiron is a planet that is concerned about healing our childhood wounds our inner wounds, our wounds that we inherited from our families or from, or from the karma of our families, okay? And Saturn, on the other hand, is a planet that is concerned about karma as well in terms of giving to us what we deserve, you know? And Saturn is also about, you know, restrictions, you know, the, the tough stuff, limitations, um, depression, punishment, judgment, fairness, maturity, calling us to act right, social welfare. Those are all the concerns of the planet Saturn. Now, generally, when these guys met, this couple in this um, sinistry relationship analysis we're talking about, when they met, they had a sense of being able to heal by being with each other. Okay, that was the initial spark with the square. But within the first month, we can tell, or three months with other people who don't really like give um, notice to the red flags. We can tell that the certain partner does not accept does not accept the healing methods of the Chiron partner okay the certain partner you know um, actually doesn't even want to talk about healing when when they with the Chiron partner they are closed off they are uncomfortable to talk about their wounds and their baggage with the Chiron partner. And the Chiron partner is there, you know, trying to, to, to say, hey, babe, I'm here for you. You know, you can tell me anything. You can tell me what's bothering you, my babe. You know, I'll try to help you. And, and then Satan, on the other hand, is just finding all this um, talk boring and just, you know, plain intrusive, okay? And the certain partner is like, uh, well, I'll talk to somebody if I need um, to talk about this stuff. Okay, that's it. Basically, the healing mechanisms here do not match, okay? They do not match. One person has their own idea of how to deal with healing the wounds that we feel, emotional wounds, mental wounds, and all of that. And the other one thinks of a different um, of a different approach. In this case, for an example, the certain partner would be wanting practical solutions to healing his wounds or her wounds, okay? They do not want to be just talking and just you know, um, having emotions and sentiments and all that comfort. No, they want 
practical solutions. <laughs> like give me something I can use practically to heal myself. <laughs> or to help you heal. <laughs> On the other hand, the current partner is all about, oh, just talk to me, you know. Or maybe you should talk to a psychologist. Or maybe you should go to therapy. Or maybe you should go to rehab. And certain is like, I just want something I can use right now, practically not just to go to meetings and talk, 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 talk. You see? So basically the healing mechanisms here do not match. The healing style does not match. The healing language does not match at all. Okay? That's what the square is telling us. And to resolve the square, we would need uh, uh, both partners to compromise, you know. Maybe the certain partner would need to lower their expectations a bit. And the Chiron partner would need to back down and not push too much for this healing to happen, you know. Maybe just let things happen naturally, okay? So, guys, that's how this uh, square would pan out. And... Uh, you know, good luck to you, and I'll chat to you soon. I'll chat to you soon.